Write a C program to shift elements of an array by n positions. Let's write logic for both left shift as well as right shift. So this is an example. This is the original array. If you shift it to left by one position, this is the resultant array you will get. If you shift to left by two positions, then this is the resultant array. Look at the position of this last element of the array. So this is right shift by one position. And this one is the right shift by two positions. So that's what we need to accomplish. So let me explain the code as and when I write it, okay? I'll declare array variable a of n i for for loop temp to swap the element from first index to the last index or else from last index to the first index depending upon the direction in which we are shifting these elements of the array. Now I'll ask the user to enter percentage d integer numbers, the value of which is present inside macro n. Now let me write the regular for loop to accept n integer numbers from the user. Scan f percentage d and percent a of n, a of i. So we also know how to display the elements of an array. So I, let's do that. Before that, let me output a message to the user that is after shifting, uh, maybe to the left. So after shifting left, I'll simply output all the elements of the array. We haven't written the logic to shift the elements yet. We will write that shortly. So percentage t slash t slash t is tab character. That means three space character. So if you shift all the elements to the left by one position, think the first element will be lost, right? Which is present at a of zero. So I'll preserve that element inside a temporary variable temp. So temp is equal to a of zero. Now, since we are moving all the elements by one position to the left, the first, the element at first position should move to the last index of that array, right? So I'll move that to the last index of the array, which is n minus one. So in between these two lines, I'll write logic to move all the other elements to the left by one position. We could even write i less than n minus one because the last position will be filled by whatever is present inside the variable temp. Okay, so now let's continue. E of i is equal to whatever is present inside the next index, which is E of i plus one. So if i is zero, so A of zero will have A of one. A of one will have A of two. A of three will have whatever is present inside A of four, like that. Okay, let's check the result. Two, three, four, five. So after shifting left, so phi has been shifted to left by one position and all other element has been shifted to left by one position, okay? So this is how we, we shift elements to the left by one position. So let us do the same for right shifting, okay? So let me copy the same code and paste it before this. So for clarity purpose, let me comment the left shifting logic here. Now, assume this, if you shift all the elements to right by one position, the last index element will be lost, right? So let us preserve that element inside temporary variable and then shift that to the first index of the array, which is present at a of zero. Now in between, write the logic to shift all the other elements to right by one position. So initialize i to the last index of the array that is i is equal to n minus one and iterate this for loop until i is greater than zero don't write greater than or equal to because a of zero already has temp will have temp after execution of this for loop okay now decrement the value of i by one for each iteration of this for loop so a is a of i is equal to its previous element which is present in i minus one, okay? So what is i, n minus one? So let me substitute that. So let me substitute here. So minus one minus one is minus two. So a of n minus one will have whatever is present at a of n minus two, its previous element, okay? So that's what it means. Let's see if this works. Let me compile and run this program. And I'll give one, two, three, four, and five. 
So after right shifting, so all the elements have been shifted to right by one position. Look at the position of one. It has been shifted one position to right. Two has been shifted, three, four and five all has have been shifted to right by one position. So now uh, we could ask the user to enter the direction. So let me take another variable dir and based on some conditions like if dir is left or right whatever like that we could inside the block we could execute this code or else let me first ask the user to enter the direction right so i'll ask enter direction oh, well in next line let me give some hint to the user instead of right typing left or right for left let the user type one for right for right direction shifting, let the user type input 0. So let me store this user input inside integer variable dir. So based on this user input, let's execute the code. Okay. So now if the condition dir is equal to 1, that means left shifting. Okay. Else if user has entered 0, then shifting must be in the right direction so this is code for left shift operation so paste it inside if block oh, let me align this and inside else block let me paste the right shift operation logic so let's test if it actually works Once again, I'll give the same input that is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now left shift 1. So all the elements have been shifted to left by one position. Check this. 5 has been shifted this side, 4 has been shifted and so on. 1 has been shifted to the last index location. Okay. So let us shift these to the right direction. And as you can see, all the elements have been shifted to right by one position. With all these logics in place, we could easily implement the number of positions to be shifted instead of one position. Okay, I'll take another variable POS. Now I'll ask the user to enter the number of positions to be shifted. NO for number of positions to be shifted and I'll store the user input inside the integer variable POS. So POS holds the, holds the number of times this, this whole logic should get executed. Okay, so I'll take a loop. I'll simply take a while loop, while POS. That means while POS is greater than zero. Instead, you can just write while POS and cut this entire logic and paste it inside while loop let me indent it a bit and for each iteration of this while loop decrement the value of pos by one so i'll do that at the end that's it very very simple and straightforward logic so so before moving any further let's check if this logic actually works we need to check for whenever you implement something you need to check for the result okay so let me shift it to right by maybe two positions two positions yeah so one has been shifted to two positions to right one should have been here it has been shifted here so two should have been at fifth fives position it has been shifted two positions so three has been shifted to two positions five has been shifted two positions right and 4 has been shifted two positions to right, right? So let us execute and check for shifting it to left. 1, maybe by three positions. Let's check that. So the wording is wrong here. It's left shifting. We could fix that very easily. That's something which is present inside printf statement, okay? So five has been shifted to left 
by three positions and four should have been at two's place here from here four has been shifted three positions to the left and so on now guess what would happen if you shift all the elements to maybe left by five positions guess yeah you will have the same numbers at same positions because it has been shifted 360 degree okay so it came back to the same original position so that's it so this first for loop you are seeing here is to accept n number of integer numbers from the user this is to get the direction once you have the direction you will see you will know which code to execute using this if condition okay this is this one is left shifting this one is right shifting logic and the number of positions that's easy you need to loop through the same logic the number of times the user has specified this is something equal to writing pos greater than zero you could simply write pos this while loop executes until uh, until pos is zero so now let me ex explain this once again for la for left shifting when all the elements shift to the left the first index element will be lost right so to preserve that we store that inside temporary variable and then shift it to the last index of that array which is present at index n minus 1 this is very important okay after that we shift the remaining elements to the left by one position in right shifting the last index will be lost so we preserve it inside temporary variable and shift it to the first index of the array which is present at a of 0 in between we just shift the elements one by one to the right direction that's it very simple logic so please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog please share this video with your friends on whatsapp telegram linkedin twitter facebook etc and please do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you